Remember we all heard about the Wuhan uh, the seafood market? He said, no, that's not where it started. Where the, where the first cases start are very close to the Wuhan Institute. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. How do you know they're going to try some new shenanigans for 2024's election? Well, because the person who brought us shenanigans during the 2020 election, the man who started the pandemic by creating the virus COVID, Dr. Fauci, is back on TV after a two-year hiatus when everybody learned that he was a evil little goblin-like fraud. And now he's back. Fauci, however, this time is being destroyed on the CNN airwaves instead of being protected and vaunted as a saint as a messiah. Oh, now actually Dr. Fauci is being destroyed by CNN anchors over masking. Fauci roasted as fraud and liar after being confronted over damning study on masks. Check out this incredible moment for Michael Smirkonish's uh, show on CNN, and I can tell you it's a show that I watch. Uh, this was the face that Michael Smirkonish made. Smirkonish made when uh, Dr. Fauci tried to lie about his history of demanding double masking. Check this out. Ooh, that if in fact we get to the point where the volume of cases is such and organizations like the CDC recommend, CDC doesn't mandate anything. I mean, recommends that people wear masks. I would hope that they abide by the recommendation and take into account the risk to themselves and to their families. And again, we're not talking about There's forcing anybody to do anything. Totally understood. There oh, is a okay. perception out there by... Wait, I have to stop. I have to stop. I'm going to snap my fingers off to stopping this video every 10 seconds. Okay, uh, you did recommend... In fact, Dr. Fauci was on the task force that created the vaccine mandate that Joe Biden tried to push and had to be stopped by the Supreme Court. You had to do a vaccine-to-work mandate. That's what you evil demons did a many how many i don't know that they don't work and that God, the data liars. concludes that they didn't work in the first go round the data on to that it. on masks yeah well that's not so i mean when you're talking about at the population level that the data are less strong than knowing that if you look on a situation as an individual protecting themselves or protecting them from spreading it there's no doubt that masks work different studies give different percentages of advantage of wearing it, but there's no doubt that the weight of the studies, and there have been many studies, indicate the benefit of wearing masks. Watch this. I'm going to refer to one of them. You've heard about it before. I heard about it from a number of radio callers. Uh, Brett Stevens in The Times talked about Cochrane. Put that on the screen. The most rigorous and comprehensive analysis of scientific studies conducted on the efficacy of masks for reducing the spread of respiratory illness, including COVID-19, was published last month. Its conclusions, said Tom Jefferson, the Oxford epidemiologist who is the lead author, were unambiguous. There is just no evidence that they, masks, make any difference he told the journalist Mayan Damasi, full stop. But wait, hold on. What about the N95 masks as opposed to the lower quality? Surgical or cloth masks makes no difference. None of it, he said. Well, what about the studies that initially persuaded policymakers to impose mask mandates? They were convinced by non-randomized studies, flawed observational studies. How do we get beyond that finding of that particular review? destroyed. Yeah, but there are other studies, Michael, that show at an individual level for individual. When you're talking about the effect on the epidemic or the oh, pandemic as evil. a whole, the data are less strong. But when you talk about as an Sick individual basis bastard. of someone protecting themselves or protecting themselves from spreading it to others, there's no doubt that there are many studies that show that there is an advantage. When you took it the broad population level, like the Cochrane study, the data are less firm with regard to the effect on the overall pandemic. Look, look, look at the guy's face. Look at, look at the physiognomy of these two guys. Look at the guy's face. Listen, look, look, look at that expression. As this is the expression that you get when you actually realize that everything this man says is a lie. Everything. Remember, Dr. Fauci is a guy who promised the day of Donald Trump's inauguration that there would be a pandemic in the next administration. Maybe it's time to start asking some real questions about what Dr. Fauci knows and doesn't know. Even CNN is pushing back against Fauci's insistence. The masks were affected against COVID. Pretty remarkable. Amazing moment here. More subterfuge, says Anthony Fauci. 
Uh, more subterfuge says Ron, Rand Paul, Dr. Rand Paul against Anthony Fauci is branded a fraud and a liar after admitting there is a lack of evidence showing mask mandates stopped the COVID pandemic. Rand Paul, Fauci admits masks don't work for the public at large, but is still absurdly claiming that masks work on an individual basis. Fauci confronted with the most definitive data analysis possible that masks make zero difference against COVID. Not a little, not slight, zero. And he just muttered some numerical illiteracy BS about individual protection. He's a fraud and a liar. Fauci now says mass mandates did not stop the spread. Perhaps we didn't know that in 2020, but now we clearly know it in 2022 when toddlers were still being forcibly masked. Smouchy folk. Smouchy. Fauci smoked. And even the Krasenstein brothers jumping in here uh, saying effectively like that this guy's a fraud. Incredible. Never forget, ladies and gentlemen, never, ever, 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 ever forget that Dr. Fauci demanded not only when he knew that this didn't matter at all, that masks did not matter at all, Fauci demanded double masking. Two physical barriers are more efficient than just one. Different options of masks wearing. In the meantime, as I often get asked, should you be wearing two masks or one mask? And I say, there's no recommendation. However, there are many people who take the common sense approach. If you're talking about a physical barrier, and as the CDC recommends, you want at least two layers within the mask as a physical barrier, and you feel maybe more of a physical barrier would be better, there's nothing wrong with people wearing two masks. My God. My God. These people. These these people will go down. I mean, they should. If we have any justice at all and the tides are turning, the pendulum is swinging, these people should go down. One, as Guantanamo Bay um, in inmates – uh, because of the mass murder that they committed. But then two, as the biggest science, like, like frauds ever on the scientific community, the entire scientific community should reject them. And they, their name should be stricken from the history books. Or maybe better yet, like told, like th their name should be emblazoned on the history books as an example of some of the most evil and malevolent venomous and venal people to ever exist you may recall ladies and gentlemen that donald trump very famously uh after recovering from covid at walter reed hospital took his mask off at the white house and stood there and smiled and had his uh had his triumphant moment very much a profound moment in american history if we had a fair press this would have been covered correctly instead this is how ladies and gentlemen they decided to cover it because donald trump was no longer adhering to their control mechanisms life would be totally different he didn't just walk into the white house one time with no mask tonight he had his video crew capture that stupid scene again so he could put out propaganda fronting a lie to his people once again just like don't worry about the mask now he says don't worry about covid don't let it control your life it's just propaganda incredible war is peace freedom is slavery ignorance is strength that is a direct line from 1984 george L. orwell perfectly personified there by christopher cuomo saying that it is donald trump who is engaging in propaganda as he sits there and it's little Fiefdom, ignoring these photos of Dr. Fauci, of course, at the very height of COVID, doing precisely what Dr. Fauci, uh, what Dr. Fauci, look at this, sitting there smiling with his buddies in an empty baseball stadium. This is Dr. Fauci's wet dream with, with his mask off, smiling inside of an empty baseball stadium that he gets to watch a professional baseball game by himself like a king. As he throws the single largest soy-filled feline zero testosterone pitch ever in the history of first pitches. But this is this is the this is the dream for Dr. Fauci. This was the dream. Dr. Fauci sitting there alone with his friends enjoying a major league game all by himself, with the entire stadium all to himself. This is the, this is, again, the professional wet dream of Dr. Fauci. This was always the goal. Donald Trump, not the only time that Donald Trump owned 
ladies and gentlemen, on the issue of masks. Once a reporter tried to ask a question with a mask on, <laughs> this happened. You're going to have to take that off, please. Just, you can take it off. You're, you're, how, how many feet are you away? I'll speak a lot louder. Well, if you don't take it off, you're very muffled. So if you would take it off, it would be a lot easier. I'll, I'll just speak a lot louder. Is that better? It's better. Yeah. It's better. <laughs> <laughs> don't let them control your life again. Don't let them cause panic or fear any longer. I, I, I think that they know that the American public is now awake. And we're proving that day in and day out. Do not let them control you with fear. Do not. Don't believe the lies. These people are evil frauds and they've always used emergencies or panic to control you. And don't let them win. And communism with us. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. It's your boy Benny. See ya.